was the unfortunate incident when Mr. Seagrass was uh, killed in the of his life uh, a short while ago. And the Sheriff's Office since that time has been working nonstop, uh, looking to bring the person, the person responsible for Mr. Seagrass' murder to justice. Uh, we've been adding additional investigators to our uh, investigations division. We've put other resources in. We're working closely with our counterparts in law enforcement, with the Highway Patrol, the District Attorney's Office, the Probation Office, uh, State Patrol, and all the uh, different agencies in the county. We will not rest. We will not rest until this person is all these people are brought to justice. Uh, like I said earlier, I wish I could give you more specific information. And I wanted to dispel one rumor that's been going on right now. And the rumor is that we have somebody in custody already for this arrest. That is not true. During the course of this investigation, we've conducted numerous probation and parole searches, and we've arrested people, but, and they're in our jail, but it's not for the murder of Horace Seagram. So we will continue to do that as part of our investigation to come across something. We will make arrests. As soon as we find this killer or killer, and we bring them to justice to jail, you folks will know about it. We will put that information out there as quickly as soon as possible. Does it make any difference here if our lake looked like Tahoe or your swimming pool or if the roads out here were paved in chocolate? It wouldn't make any difference as long as we're not safe. If we're safe in our communities, then all that is, is nice. But without a safe community where our kids can, can play, we can go down to BMX park and do all these kinds of things that they deserve to be able to do, without that, none of the rest of it makes any difference. There has to be some community involved problem. We're told that non-violent, non-serious, non-sex offenders would be released. If that is the case, unfortunately, they look at criminal history. So the people coming to the jail, the people that law enforcement work with now, that would normally be at San Quentin with those prison guards, are now in the community. And if you have information or something that you might think, oh, it's nothing, it's just a little thing, it's probably not important, pass it on. You just never know what it's in regards to a Forest Seed Grade case, um, with the cooperation of the Sheriff Romero back there and the deputies, we've been involved in this case from the first night. And I have offered our seven investigators to do whatever the Sheriff's Office wants us to do to assist them. We have some high tech equipment trying to use to, to aid and to do whatever, Chris, whatever you ask us to do. When his killer is caught, and I have no doubt his killer will be caught, I have all the faith in the world in the sheriff's office. We will prosecute you on the fullest extent of possible can. Rob, I'd like to know, I see that being here and Grace here tonight, just coming before the school board before you talk to us about you know, the presence of gangs and the early signs and whatnot. I, I'm just curious if we can get a brief update on what might be going on with gangs in our community, because I think with the increase of uh, people on the streets and in the jails, that has I don't need that.
guys that, you know, they would actually get out of their car and walk down the street, you know. Uh, they would have coffee at the first tavern outside, you know what I'm saying. Uh, they were a part of our little town, and it made a difference. I think we need to get back to a little bit of that instead of, you know, I know you guys are just driving through all the time and we see you, but we don't see you. two ways to deal with that. First of all, if you go to the sheriff's website, the sheriff has a thing called Watch Commander Logs. And that Watch Commander Logs. You can call the sheriff's office and we will provide you as much information as we possibly can to say either one, we think they're related, or we don't think they're related, or we've arrested somebody already for those burglaries. But it's going to take, like I said, folks talking to each other uh, in the neighborhoods, in the communities, in the business communities about what's going on, because businesses are targets of uh, burglars and stuff like that, and uh, just uh, sometimes burglars go unreported. Well, I was very pleased with the turnout. I was, uh, it exceeded my expectation as far as um, the, the uh, input and questions from the public, and I think uh, Chris Macedo, Captain Macedo, and the other law enforcement officials did an excellent job of representing their departments and answering the questions. And I do believe that there uh, will be some positive outcomes, some some changes, uh, but mostly uh, just uh, overall um, uh, cooperation between the public and law enforcement that will be beneficial to our community.